Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're on Big Lake, Washington up near Mount Vernon to check out this awesome 22 Alexis Pro from Thunderjet. A boat like this is easy to tow, easy to move around. With all of our short openers on the inside, outside, you can move around and hit them all with a boat like this. Let's show you around. Thunderjet calls this their progressive hull. It starts with a really deep entry at the bow, then it progresses back to 16 degrees of dead rise at the stern. As you can see, we've got two extrusions here on the sides of the boat that really stiffens up the side of the boat. And they also act as really nice rub rails when you're at the dock, keep from scratching up that beautiful paint job. Here on the transom bracket, we do have a retractable ladder here for getting in and out of the water, an access door to get through the transom. And of course it's powered with a 225 V6 Mercury Verado, quiet, fuel efficient. This has an 85 amp alternator that uh, keeps your electronics charged up, your house system, your cranking batteries, everything will stay charged up with that 225. If you look here, we've got a massive fish box in the transom here. And your downrigger plates are already installed here along with a six inch railing on the stern of this boat. Nice little pockets here on both sides for storing downrigger releases, flashers, you know, whatever you're using off your downriggers. Of course, we've got a convenient cup holder built right into the, uh, the gunnel here, tool pocket for your knives and your pliers. And then of course, any hardcore fishing machine is gonna have a Mercury EFI kicker. This is a 9.9 .9 EFI. And these have a 12 amp alternator in them to keep everything charged up. That along with your 85 amp alternator, you shouldn't have any problems keeping your battery systems charged up. And of course, down here we have yet another just massive fish box here see all of our rigging here in the stern and these are nice they remove so you're not having to lay on top of them when you're working on whatever it is back here we've got all of our batteries pumps access to our main battery switch our chargers right here got access to everything right here our wash down pump is here and of course you plug in right here to that and we do have side trays as well both port and starboard. And then this remote steering station is just such a great option here. We've got an adjustable wheel, so just about anyone can run this boat here from this remote station. Your controls for the 225, and you've got your active trim built right into this control. Here's your control for the 9.9 .9 EFI. Got a great cabinet down below here for all your tackle boxes and fishing gear. We've got one of our camera cases down there and your switches here as well. Got a great overhang to get out of a little bit of the weather when it's coming down. And of course you can hang your second electronics unit underneath here. So it's readily visible right here and it also keeps it out of the weather. And then look at the rocket launchers. Got them on the side here. There's another one that can be optioned in here that sits right in here. But right now there's 14 rod holders on this boat for all you hardcore fishermen out there. We've got net holders, port and starboard, and a great handrail here. Of course, full bulkhead to get out of the weather, shut the door on those inclement weather days, stay inside where it's nice and dry and warm. Okay, you'll see all the storage underneath these great bench seats here. We've got life jackets and stuff in this one as well. Some of our gear, cup holders in front of both bench. Here's your porta potty over here, conveniently located under this nice big bench seat. Air ride seat here for the captain's chair, as well as a passenger air ride. We have pockets up here for storage, more grab rails, rod storage everywhere in here. We've got rod storage on the ceiling. We've got an LED light right here to light up this cabin. Glove box, all carpeted here. More cup holders up here on the dash, but then check this out. All you hardcore fishermen are gonna love this. Rod storage for 10 rods in here. So you can stow away all your rods when you're traveling, hitting all these fisheries I was talking about earlier. Here at the helm station, we've got adjustable armrests and adjustable wheel, which is so nice. So just about anybody can fit into this seat. Switches here, all your gauges, key switch, trim tabs, and of course your burr controls here. And of course a great spot to mount your electronics right up here on the dash as well. And then these big windows offer just incredible visibility from the cabin as well. So when you're running this boat, you really don't have any dead spots in here, which is just really annoying. I run a boat for a living and uh, I'm always on the lookout for that. 
Great visibility here from the cabin of this Thunderjet. Let's jump up on the bow. The cool feature with this boat is this walk-through windshield. So any of our anchor fisheries, you can access the bow. So if you're anchoring on the Columbia River for springers, you know, June hog, sturgeon, maybe you're anchoring in the Strait of Juan de Fuca for halibut, it's easy to get up here and work your anchor system. We've got a nice storage locker here. You can store all your anchor supplies down there in your anchor. And of course, you have a nice bell pulpit here as well for your anchor. And plenty of room for mounting. You could even mount an anchor puller right here. And then we've got welded scuppers in here. So any water that you do get up here on the bow in this pocket here will drain off easily through those welded scuppers. I think we're about ready to take this 22 Alexis Pro for a spin. All right, we're out here on Big Lake. This is actually a pretty good day to test this boat because it is blowing at least 20 knots out here today. You can't even hardly hear that mercury running back there. They're just so quiet these days. Uh, and of course, if we close that door too, yeah, you, you'd hardly even hear that outboard back there. We don't have any gauges to give you miles per gallon, but I know from experience with that V6 at cruise, you're probably gonna be burning six gallons an hour, maybe seven at the most with this boat. Uh, full of fuel, this does have a 100 gallon fuel tank, but we can't show you the top speed today here. Let's go ahead and run on into the wind and we'll show you the top speed. So this boat doesn't have any electronics yet, so we can't tell you the speed from the electronics on board here, but luckily we do have a Google app here on Eric's cell phone, so we pulled that up. Uh, right now we're cruising at 24 miles an hour. No pounding, no nothing here. There's a lot of chop out here on the lake. Let me turn around here and go back into it. We'll try to give you a top speed here, and I'll, I'll push the bow down too. We're probably gonna need to, going back against the wind. You can see there's a bunch of white caps out here. Great day to test the boat, right? We kind of got lucky on the weather. Of course, everybody likes to be out when it's calm, but you really want to test the boat in weather like this. There we go. We're getting some water up on the windshield now, which is just perfect. All right, I'm going to go ahead and push the bow down just a little bit. Let's get that variable degree dead rise here working for us. All right, bow's down. Air ride seats are activated. Let's see what we can get here. All right, wide open throttle. And it is bumpy out here. We're skipping right along at 42 miles an hour with the bow down into the chop here on Big Lake, Washington. We are scooting in this 22 foot Alexis Pro, 42 miles an hour. We're not gonna do that for long, but I guarantee you if it was calm and you got the bow up a little bit, you could probably get 45 to 47 miles an hour out of this Alexis Pro. All right, let's go ahead and throw this into a steep turn. That's 16 degrees of dead rise. I do have the bow pushed down pretty good here. It's pretty choppy out here, but you can see this 22 Alexis Pro turns on a dime. Not a surprise, right? Spin the other way here. Pretty, pretty choppy out here on Big Lake today. Great day to test a boat. Might get a little bit of popping on that hole with the bow up, but boy, you push that bow down and it's really gonna soften this ride. Let's get those tabs all the way down. We've got Lenco tabs here. Turn those wipers off. And we're gonna drop the hammer again here. Wide open throttle. And again, 40. 41 miles an hour, and she's riding really nice. Let's just go ahead and get up on a plane here, and we'll just show you the bow rise. It's something we always do on a sea trial. And with the lifting strakes on this hole and five inches of reverse chine on either side of the hole, I mean, it's no surprise that this thing's just gonna pop up like a cork. And really, there's hardly any bow rise. It's just something we always do to show you what that looks like. And uh, again, this boat is just perfect for 
moving around the Pacific Northwest, all the fisheries that we have. You could even put a bow mount trolling motor on the front of this thing and fish walleye with it if you wanted to in eastern Washington. It's just great for all the short little openers we have in the Northwest now. Even some of our, our spot prawn openers are four to six hours. And uh, you can pop this boat in, hit the opener, back on the trailer, off you go. It's easy to launch, easy to retrieve, easy to tow. There you go, that's the 22 Alexis Pro from Thunderjet. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below there. We'll catch you next time.